Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel Admin Panel Development Beginner Tutorial and this is our part 7. Inside this video session guys, we are going to set up our theme into Laravel pages. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Laravel Admin Panel Development Tutorial. So far guys, we have actually made our controllers, models as well as the migrations. So if we back to editor, inside this editor, inside this models folder, we have created all the models inside this custom folder called models. Inside HTTP, controllers, these are the models that actually, sorry, controllers actually we have created. If I scroll down, inside database folder inside migrations these are the migrations file actually we have created so far inside the whole playlist all these codes means our application folder guys actually we have committed this whole project inside our github repository and github repository is here and the github is link is something called this is the link okay so basically in our second part of this playlist guys we have downloaded a HTML template if you have remembered and this is called admin LT theme now we are this is basically a HTML theme right now we are going to convert this theme into Laravel page right now as we can see that inside the URL this is called index.html so we want to open into a Laravel theme okay so how can we convert there are multiple actually steps that we have to follow to convert a HTML theme into a Laravel theme so step by step we are going to cover each and each and every step of theme conversion for a beginner's level so if you back to slide so what basically we have to follow i have written some basic points like configure route go to controller method and set a view file create a view file and render page if i go to browser here i have actually run our server and this is php artisan serve this is our default laravel page this is only the default architecture actually the laravel provides there is no integration of any theme so how can we integrate that so if you back to editor just close all these things first we have to open our route and we actually routes are stored if i scroll down here inside routes folder we have to open a file called web.php this is the file guys actually we will store all the created routes for our application right now actually laravel provides a default route as we can see route gate method this is for our default page and this is a closer function closer function means that we are going to define our view file directly to a given route instead of pointing any controller and any method to that route so here basically for the home page we have made a view file called welcome where actually welcome view file will be stored it will be inside resources inside resources folder we have called a views folder just go inside that and here is the file called welcome.blade.php laravel has a theme pages naming convention and something called blade.php this is our pages extension in laravel cases so if i open this file this is our welcome.blade.php and this is a file actually we are going to see inside this default home page so how can i how can i reset actually admin alta theme instead of this welcome.blade.php so first of all go to web.php and inside that first of all let's clear all these things because we are going to start each and every step from basically for from a beginner's level okay so let's route this is for the git method and let's say that this is default home page and we have to make a home page for the home page let's say that we are going to create a controller that controller should be something called admin home controller so let's say admin home controller and inside this controller we are going to make a method for rendering our dashboard and this is something called dashboard this is the name of our method so first of all if we go to our http folder inside controllers we have no controller actually with the name of admin home controller first we have to create that so if i copy this controller name go to terminal and let's say that php artisan let's say make controller and we have to provide the controller name and the controller name is something called admin home controller so if i press enter and controller created successfully so let's me give the permission to this file and chmot minus r triple seven 
and all permission for all these files. So if I back to editor, inside this editor if you go to our app HTTP and controllers folder we have a file called admin home controller and this is the controller that we have made. So inside this controller first of all we have to create a method something called dashboard because this method is going to be render our default home base actually we are putting from theme and this is the dashboard method. So if I copy this method name go to again and let me check the name and spelling for that and this is something like that. So if I back to slides now these are the steps first of all we have to configure route so what we did we have successfully configured our route ok now next step go to controller method which controller method this is the method inside this method we have to set a view file so now we didn't set any view file right now so let's set that return view inside this view method we are going to view function we are going to render a view file so firstly we have to create the view file so if I scroll down and here is the view folder so inside this views folder let's create a folder something called admin inside this admin I'm going to create the folder called views and also I'm going to create some of another folders to store layouts so let's say layouts so back to views folder inside this views folder I'm going to create a file something for a dashboard so let's say dashboard dot and this is our blade extension so blade.php press enter file created successfully so if I let's say that within h2 tag or h3 tag welcome to home page save this file go to controller now we have to only point to this file called dashboard.blade.php so this file will be stored inside admin or inside our views folder this is dot it means that we have to go inside admin folder inside views folder and views folder contains the file something called dashboard so if I save this file go to browser reload this page and as we can see that this is our welcome to online web tutor home page so these are the basic steps guys that we have to follow to set up any theme page ok so now we are going to convert our admin LTA theme to a Laravel pages so how can we start that first of all if you go to browser inside this as we can see that here are multiple if we press ctrl u to get the source code inside this source code guys as we can see that multiple CSS if I scroll down multiple JS files actually attached with this theme so first of all we have to move all these assets file like images CSS and JS to our Laravel theme folder so firstly let's move all these files so if I back to folder structure this is our admin LT version 2.4.5 so now we are going to move all the assets file so first of all let's copy BOA components something called test something, something called plugins on what basis actually we are selecting this folder so if you go again to the source code as we can see that this forward slash js forward slash demo dot js and these are from our board components folder if we move to up these are the folders from our BOA components as well as from the plugins folder so we have to select all these three folders so if I copy that go to our admin panel development folder inside public folder I'm going to paste all these three folders inside our theme public folder and now as we can see that all the assets file are being copied inside that so we have successfully set up all the assets to our Laravel theme okay so if I back to editor first of all we have to connect all the assets for file for our application so if you go to our layouts folder let me create some of the files and something called header dot blade dot php and also let's say that we have to create call footer dot blade dot php and finally we have to make a common layout for all the pages that we are going to create inside this application so let's say layout dot blade dot php this is our parent layout so if I back to our admin theme I'm going to open called index.html file 
So let me open that or just I'm going to drag this file and open up in, inside our NetBeans editor. So just I'm going to drag and drop again. This is the file and this is the editor. So successfully we have opened our index.html file. So first of all let's copy all these things of this file and I'm going to move all these files inside layout.play.php. Let me close the file called index.html. Let me make some formatting to this file and it has done now. So go to up. Here we have inside hit folder, sorry hit tag, we have the linking of our all CSS files. So first of all I'm going to move all these files. So cut all these things from here. Go to our header.blade.php and paste all these things inside called header.blade.php. This file contains all the CSS files or the header tag components. Again back to our parent layout. Scroll down and here we have all the assets file or JS folder. This will be go inside our footer folder footer file. So if I cut all these things from here and paste inside all these things. Okay. So successfully we have separated our header components as well as footer components file wise. Next what we have to do? We have to include all these things and also if I save this layout go to our dashboard first of all we have to integ integrate this parent layout with our dashboard file and this is our default home page right now so how can we actually import this layout so we have to use called extends and basically inside this extends function or blade function we have to import this layout file and this file inside admin inside admin folder and inside layouts folder Inside this layouts, we have the file something called layout. Okay, so if I save this file, again go to browser and reload this page. As we can see that admin LT theme is now integrated, but thing is that we have not configured any assets file for these for these actually page successfully. So let's configure all the assets file properly for this file. So back to editor. Now inside this layout. First of all, we have to include the footer file that we have actually made separately. So how can we make that? So we have a syntax for our Laravel Blade templates. This is for our comment section. This is the syntax for our comment section. So let's say that here we are going to include or let's say include footer. So I'm going to include that. So at the rate, let's say include inside this include blade function we are going to include that so admin footer file is inside admin dot layouts dot something called footer save this file go up now we are going to include our header files so first of all get rid of all these comment section and this is our laravel comment section so we are going to include let's say that we are going to include our style or let's say header part so right now we are here we are including so let's say include inside this include we have to go inside our admin slash layouts folder inside this layouts we have a file called header so if I save this file again back to browser reload this page and as we can see that we have configured all the assets file to this default home page successfully. So basically guys this was our first step towards theme integration. So in from the next video session guys we will see that how can we pro configure properly our assets file. This is not the proper way to attach any of the assets file or any of the like CSS JS to our theme directly. This is not the proper way. So inside the next video session guys we will see that how can we properly configure actually our assets file to our theme pages. And also we will see about integration of much more pages. So if I back to slides, these are the steps that we have followed to our render our admin LT theme page. So if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching. Have a great day.